It's absolutely fantastic that we're here this morning to unveil this statue of Frederick Douglass, the great abolitionist leader from America, who spent a period of time in Belfast during 1845 to 1846. I think it's fantastic that we tell the history of Belfast during that 19th century period, a period where the city was was fairly radical. And it's important that we mark it. We mark the fact that following Frederick being here, that we've seen the establishment of the Females Anti-Slavery Association set up by people like Mary Ann McCracken. It's really important that we tell that story of Belfast and that also with the Frederick's values and his ideas which he stood by are still as relevant today as they were back then. We need to be able to live up to those values and ensure that Belfast still remains as welcome and a place for those newcomers to the city as it was when Frederick came here back in 1845. Well, Shaw, Jerry Adams, I was Tommy and Shaw, Allah and the Cahar and Mel First, I was William McGogarja, has a horse to call you Belfast. I want to commend Belfast City Council and the sculptors who created this wonderful image of Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass came to Ireland in 1845, just uh, before the worst of the Great Hunger. And he said that his, his time here was transformative, that he felt for the first time he's been treated as a, as a man. And he was pivotal to the movement here to stop slavery and to stop slave ships from docking here. Uh, Thomas McCabe, a hated Irishman, and Miriam McCracken, a sister of Henry Joy McCracken, were pivotal to all of that. So well done to everyone involved in having this statue erected. It's, a, it's the first statue in Europe to uh, an African. So well done to everybody involved. Go to meet them all.